What's up everyone? Karu here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we have another practice with our good friend uh, from the channel already, Marcos Giron. Uh, he's getting ready for the clay court swing. So we're playing on this uh, fake clay here. <laughs> uh, the US doesn't really have uh, too many clay courts available, but you know, he needs, he's going, I think, to Europe in a couple weeks. So get, getting ready here. Uh, for a big clay court swing. Now, in this in this practice, what we actually what we did was actually three drills that I really love uh, doing on a pretty much daily basis, or at least on a weekly basis. It's, it's some of my favorite things to do on the court that I think I I always have to do. Obviously, Marcos is the one training, so he's going to be the one doing it. Um, but if you're subscribed to our Patreon, I put out um, a training PDF a couple couple weeks ago uh, in the beginning of the month uh, with my favorite drills, my favorite must-dos, the things that I, I feel like I need to do every week to stay sharp and that I think most amateurs can do. It's not very, very difficult um, to be done uh, and will improve your match play. So if you're not subscribed to, to our Patreon yet, uh, I will leave a link below. You can check it out. Uh, I'm going to have one training plan a month there um, with you know drills, things that I think you should be doing. Um, but in this practice session here with Marcos, uh, specifically we're going to do three of them, which is um, a little bit of movement. You know, I think a lot of people like to play stationary too much. So there's a little bit of movement, a little bit of change of direction and some point play, but with um, kind of like a situational point where we're going to start from a, a certain position. Marcos is going to be on defense, um, and then he's going to try to get to neutral, we'll play the point out. So um, right now we're just playing down the middle, just warming up, getting getting you know the body ready, everything warmed up. Um, but it was a nice little practice session. We did play some points at the end. Uh, but I wasn't able to record a lot of that and I know the camera angle isn't it's good but it's not as wide as I wanted to uh, the cords not that big um, but it will do it will it's a pretty decent uh, fun practice I, I actually like the camera angle here um, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it so again pay attention I will I will jump in when I think um, I should and I think this is gonna be a good one so have fun Okay, so we're about done uh, hitting on the middle here, getting nice and warm. As you can see, um, we're playing around with the spins, our positioning on the court, sometimes closer to the baseline, sometimes a little further back, hitting the ball up a little bit more. Uh, but the first drill we're gonna do is I will be stationary down the middle and I'll be moving markers anywhere I want. 
Um, so it's just something that he wanted to do. He just wants to train his movement on clay since he obviously doesn't play as much on clay as on hard. Uh, so that's something that's really important for his for his swing. So uh, we're about to start um, in a little bit, and I'm going to be hitting anywhere, and I'm going to be moving Marcos around the court. Obviously, I'm going to try to keep the rally as long as possible. We're just starting here. Um, and again, just train his his movement on court and I think that's something that you should be incorporating a lot more in your practice play moving don't just play stationary get on the court and feel good just hitting down the middle start moving um, start getting comfortable moving because um, in tennis people don't just hit to you they hit away from you that's the goal <laughs> uh, and you've got to be moving your feet and making sure that you're the one who are creating good positioning good distance between you and the ball so this is what we're going to do for the next two minutes. Um, good little session here. And I think it's something that you guys really need to do in every practice session. As you probably noticed by now, we're both trying to hit a little bit higher, a little bit more shape over than that. It's a good camera angle so you guys can see it. Um, we're both not necessarily two guys that love playing on clay court. Um, so for us, it's, it is an adjustment having to hit the ball a little bit more up and down. Um, but it's something that, you know, Marcos, as a top 100 player, he's always going to have the, the clay court season to to play. So it's you definitely got to work a little bit. You obviously don't want to overdo it if you're playing on clay. Um, you don't have to all of a sudden just go crazy with hitting the ball too far up. But definitely got to you know, create a little bit more shape uh, with your shots. Um, you know, make that ball go deep because it is hard to hit through the court. Uh, you got to create a little more, more sh shape, um, add a little bit more top spin um, so, you're a little, so you can be more effective and you know, do more damage um, to your opponent. Now the next drill here, it's something that I, li I literally do every single time I hit. And it's very simple. It's just a little change of direction drill. Three balls. Um, I go I go three times crossword because I'm not the one changing direction. Marcos goes twice cross, one line. Um, I know the, the camera angle here sometimes doesn't pick him up hitting the ball, but it's just two cross. And third ball, he's going to go line no matter what. And he just needs quality going line. Um, and that's something that, again, you are, you amateurs, you, gotta, you guys got to get used to it. You're never going to play 20 balls cross court at the same time. You're going to play once or twice. You're going to have to change directions. And you can do all sorts of different uh, patterns. We I love doing two, three ball drills. I do that a lot with Naomi. See, I changed here. Um, now I go the third ball. I go more middle, so Marcos has to run around and hit an inside out for him. So it's a two cross, one more cross, and then I'm gonna go a little bit more middle, so he has to go inside out. 
um, and you can get creative with it. You can find all these patterns that you see on the match that you like playing. That's where you gotta try it. Um, it can be one cross, one line. Uh, it can be two cross, one line. It can be one cross, one inside out. It can be whatever, but you can just have a bunch of balls and just as soon as it's finished with that shot, feed the next one and you're ready, ready to go. Uh, so you actually, the rally almost like keeps going. So something that I do pretty much every time I play. And now the last drill here, super simple. Um, Marcos starts from a very defensive position. See, he was all the way at the corner. I attack to his forehand side. He tries to get there, get back to neutral. We'll play the point out. Super simple. Um, makes him train uh, his on the run shot, especially here where he needs to train his sliding, um, you know, keeping the ball deep off that defense because, again, it's clay court. You've got to make the ball travel a little bit higher, a little bit heavier. Uh, we did both sides. I camera unfortunately <laughs> died uh, when we did the back end as well but this is something that you've got to do and this is something that um, you know happens often during our matches we get put on defensive positions you've got to be ready uh, to get back to neutral and then get get to offense so uh, very simple thing that you can add to your training routine and again I have that PDF that is ready on our patreon so if you want that PDF sign up uh, super easy to get and I will be posting a lot more um, of those PDFs. Every month there's going to be one, so make sure you sign up. Um, and nice and simple here, just working on, um, you know, his transition from, you know, off from defense to neutral and then hopefully to offense at one point um, during the points. And very simple, very effective. Uh, again, we don't want to just hit down the middle, hit cross course. That's not going to help you all that much during match play. Um, you're gonna learn. You gotta learn how to play moving. You gotta learn how to play um, doing you know, tough things on the court, not just feeling good. Sometimes it's not about feeling be feeling good. Sometimes it's about to about actually working to make yourself feel good.